All right, so we're back at it for another day. We're over at the grain bins. I don't know if you can see that. We got trucks in the way and everything. So both these trucks are unloaded now. Um, drying corn, we got that started. And we're pushing some corn through it. I think we're running like 200 bushel an hour, which is really good for us. It's a, it's a really small dryer. It's probably one of those, well, it is the smallest one that farm fans made, so we're we're putting the bushels through it we're drying corn i don't know two points three points just enough to really what we're doing is pouring the heat to it and then just dumping it in the bin then the fans will dry it so that's how we're rolling with it we just got to get the corn heated up so the fans can cool it down and pull moisture out we got a little work to do the combine this afternoon before we can start combining but then we'll get these trucks rolling plug the leg up once already today First thing I did this morning, 25 degrees out, and we plugged it up, and I had to climb to the top, hit the reset button on the motor up there. So yeah, that was fun. All right, so we got the combine in here, and as you can see, we just got a little bit of a hole. I mean, there's my finger next to it. It's pretty good size, so. Jeremy, you can fill that, right? You know, I'm just. <laughs> I'm sure we had corn flowing out of this thing. I'd put a rubber snubber on that. I think that's what we did in years past. Uh, get that all done up. Oh, I didn't need this one open. Still won't pop it. My bad. Huh? What's this up here? Or any ladder to see it. It's uh right up there. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. All right, so this is the fix we got going on here. Just a plate we just cut out, just some thin metal that, well, semi-thin, but we're just, we just tapped it into place, got it bent up, and then Jeremy's gonna weld it in. Deal one. All right, off for a long drive to the field. Be there in about 10 seconds. I'll tell you what, it sure is nice being able to see out the window now. That, uh, those were some dirty windows. Whew. All right, in the field, just like that. Get two trucks so I can hear to run. Get corn standing. I thought I made it a lot farther than I did last night, so uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess that's where we're at. We're not very far through the field, and that's the phone's ringing again. Alright, here we go. Combining. Going in the bin, just getting started. So, see how far we make it tonight. This one's a first for me. I got a fortune finder coming down my middle row. He's uh, not happy. Come on, let's go. Wish you'd just take a left turn and go out the corn. But no. Come on, let's go. Let's go, guy. Now right, you gotta go over there. Go the other way. This guy's not smart. Alright, so you can see this is pretty much how things are going. I think we go down and about halfway back, I got rows. And it depends on the bin, you know. I don't know. I got some up there, some down here, some over there. You know, I don't know if it just varies that much or if uh, the fact that the one row on the planter, um, I don't know if it's number 11 or number 2 on it, it had an issue and it's actually a big skip is what it is. And so every time, well, I guess that would make sense. I'm missing a whole row. That's what it is. I'm pretty much combining five rows instead of six rows. So. That would add up on the probably 20 
bushel difference per pass that I'm putting in the bin, so that could be. I mean, if you have, if you're missing a whole row for, and I, when I say a whole row, I mean it, it planted, it, but the population was not there. It was like there'd be big skips and something was going on. We had a plate go out. I know Grandpa has one of those laying in the back seat of his truck still. It's all exploded, so. I don't know if he was having issues with a plate on this field or what, but it seemed to be pretty consistent across the field. So, who knows. Alright, so, I don't know what time it is now. 5.30. We're uh, getting down there. We just... I would say we finished the long rows. Uh, we have one pass that probably goes halfway down the field. A little bit farther than halfway, maybe. But... Yeah, so that's what we got going on. We got four passes here that I'll clean up the rows to the down and back so I didn't make it all the way back on. So that would be, I got that. The short section over here to open up. So we'll get that opened up and then who knows where we'll be at with trucks and what's going on there, but we're getting pretty, we're making pretty good headway on this field. I'd say we probably got 30 of the 40 acres this field knocked out, so they were doing pretty good on that. Um, it's actually a 61 acre field. We had 20 to 25 acres in uh, rye that we ended up just chopping with our chopper. And we were going to do, uh, we were going to turn it into cover crop, um, but by the time we got this combine, we, uh, the riot all broke off and it just wasn't going to stand. So we, we just ended up chopping it and trying to do it. It's a, it's a good cover crop for this field now, um, that little section. So we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. I think we're going to probably have one or two fields of cover crop. I don't know what, actually, I really don't know what we have planned for that. Um, I do know that Grandpa's got some oats planted, so we might do that, might not, I don't know. But who knows? Let's get, this, let's get the corn off and we'll figure all that out later.